you're watching 1700 and up now we are extremely lucky to be joined by Melbourne based band Fairtrade Narcotics. They call themselves a five piece chaos machine, offering a distinctly original blend of heavy meets jazzy progressive rock, hip hop and soul. Their influences include the likes of music groups Jala, Hiatus Coyote and Deftones. Fairtrade Narcotics is led by Brooke, who's on vocals and trumpet. Co-fronting is hip hop vocalist Marzi, who also plays keys. Ned is a guitarist, on drums is Georgia, and Matt plays bass. The band's most recent EP, Space, was released in 2021 and offers four epic tracks of juxtaposing vocals, soaring trumpet, unhinged guitar, ambient keys, and punchy drums. Fairtrade Narcotics, thank you for joining us on 1700. Hey. Thanks for having us. Um, great. So I'll ask you first um, about your EP space. Um, listening back to it, it has like a lot of like musical variety, different like genres coming into play. How does that come about when you're writing it? Do you start with a certain instrument or like concept? Well, the songwriting process generally gets passed off between Brooker and I for the most part. I think Brooke might have a bit more insight about the genre mix. Um, I think the genre mix just comes from obviously me having a trumpet background, Georgia being a rock drummer, Ned's a bit of a metalhead guitarist, Matt loves his meat and potatoes rock, and then Marzi's very into his rap, and I have more of like a sort of jazzy mixed background. So um, it all just came together very organically. Um, yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's good. Um, did you have like a concept for space? Well, space, obviously, it but yeah. It happened um, by accident, actually. Um, a lot of the very early stuff, like Secure the Galactic Perimeter, was mostly just like sl like slam poetry lines and um, and horn lines, and we built the harmony around that as a group, um, and then just took turns soloing in different sections, and it came together very organically, um, and that's a lot of this EP. I would say that Another Nighttime is like where it really kind of came to the fore yeah. for a lot of us, because yeah. that was the song that was really like. George was playing really spread out drums and we we're getting nice little ambient sounds. I came pretty late to the mix in that and just did um, pads on the keys. But I think that was kind of where we all fell into the idea of spaced. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys released like a limited edition CD for that. Um, whose idea was that? And how did you come about it? John. Yeah, that was me again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we decided to put the four tracks out on uh, like Spotify or the digital platforms, but to make it special for people who might want to support us and buy a CD, we um, we did have some more tracks that we felt um, sort of were from like our past like incarnation of the band when we were trying to be more of a jazzy project. So um, yeah, they're just two little bonus tracks that are in there as a thank you for people who are supporting our music. It's fun. It's like a little nostalgic throwback to the 2000s. Good time in the car. Yeah, like it's that. something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I love that. Um, another question I got as well. Um, what is in the works, like upcoming as a band for you guys? I'll pass that up. <laughs> you want to have a chat? I do. So, previously, when you were sort of talking about our sort of cluster of genre into, you know, one thing that is spaced, we sort of as soon as I joined and sort of partnered with Ned with the, you know, sort of heavier guitar, um, I think we just sort of exploded in like kind of dynamics. Um, and with big dynamics, we kind of have to meet that with low dynamics as well. So we've sort of just really like kind of put everything um, in one sort of box and used all our strengths and now really finally streamlined it into something really consistent because the last album we were all just sort of still finding our feet, but this one is really special. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to ask a bit more about that after the break. Um, and you are watching 1700. We'll be back to talk a bit more about their new music and also their live performances. Welcome back to 1700. Uh, we're here today talking with Fairtrade Narcotics. Um, I wanted to ask about the songs you guys are performing today. Uh, what are the two songs and I guess what are the ideas behind them? So the two songs that we are performing today are Water Signs and Black Holes for Eyes. Um, I actually was speaking about this during the break. I want to pass the mic to two different people to talk about these songs. I really want to hear Ned's take on Black Holes for Eyes, and I really want to hear Matt's take on Water Signs. Matt is a man of very <laughs> few words, but we'll, we'll see. Let's go Ned right. first. So I don't really know what... Black Holes is about, because I, for the longest time I thought it was about me, 
um, <laughs> which I actually later found out that is not true. So still got to figure it out what's kind of going on there. It's because of the dark eyes. I just assumed mm. it was all, you know, um, very self-involved, but that's just who I am. Um, so I believe it is about a, it's about a type of person, um, people who are, I guess, introverted, um, maybe have, you know, like a deep, they think a lot, but they don't say a lot, um, you know, and it's, you know, people who keep a lot to themselves, but have a lot kind of going on the inside and you can kind of see it through their eyes. That's my current interpretation of it. Could be just as wrong as my first one, but I like it. It's relatable. Yeah. 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 And um, what the other water? Water signs. Water signs. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah Matt wrote this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did write this one. One day. But no. Um, as Ned was talking there, I was just quickly going over the lyrics in my head, again thinking, "What's this one about?" And if memory serves, it's just a place Brooke was in, how she was feeling at the time, and it just wrote it all on the paper. And yeah. I, couldn't add too much more than that. I might let Brooke finish that one up. <laughs> this has actually been illuminating because I don't think I've ever asked the band what they thought the songs were about. Um, but yeah, uh, Water Signs is a love song. We can put it um, as simply as that. I kind of imagined two like ocean creatures falling in love and it's about um, going into new depths. And uh, Black Holes for Eyes, that's, that's a good interpretation. That's very close. Mm. Um, I think uh, to summarise it, most distinctly, it's, it's looking at young men's mental health through a feminine lens. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's cool how you guys have it, like, between each other, you have different songs and, like, different people and things like that, how that works. Mm. Um, as well, you guys had your fourth anniversary recently in July, um, and you had a gig for that. I saw on Facebook you were talking about having, like, a mystery member. Like, how did that all go? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, anybody is welcome to chime in on this, but we had a uh, trombone player called Dermot O'Brien. Um, Brooke and Dermot used to play together in Butterfunked, um, and... We brought Dermot in just for a couple songs. Um, I really liked it. I was kind of sceptical um, just because I really like the tightness of the group and I'm very precious to that. But I, I really appreciated Dermot's um, involvement and the contribution that he made to the sound. Does anyone else want to add on to say nice things about Dermot? Yeah, Dermot's a good guy. But I thought he just gave us a really good dynamic that we might have had in the early parts of Fairtrade and mm -hmm. sort of strayed away from for a little bit we got a bit heavier but he sort of brought us back to that jazzier brass sort of thing yeah you know? can you tell me more about like as well how the band formed like how you guys got so close in it like that so i think brooke originally wanted to create like a jazz soul kind of band like lots of trumpets and you know sort of sultry sort of sounds and then she asked all of us pretty much and it was sort of a revolving door of different band members because we couldn't settle and I was asked in the beginning but I was a bit too busy we we're all at uni um, yeah. and then right towards the end there was a gig that was gonna kind of <laughs> it was gonna make it or break it <laughs> um, and we all just sort of jumped in and ever since then we've sort of just been cement yeah four years is like a lot to be proud of as well especially mm -hmm. with everything the last two years um, and it's good that you guys are out performing again and we're gonna see you perform as well now um, can you also tell us where we can keep in touch with you guys on socials Okay. <laughs> at Fair Trade Narcotics. On everything? That's where you'll find cool. us. Um, it's a special name, <laughs> so oh, it's That's easy to find. <laughs> Good, easy to find, easy to have. Well, thank you so much for talking with us on 1700.